Hello everybody, Eric Secondary Machine out in the shop today. So I've got the spindle now out of the Klausing 8520. Interestingly enough, I'm following along with that guide that the uh, that guy made that's online. You know, he talks about uh, trying to get this out of the quill by using, he made some arms for a, uh, a typical, uh, uh, I forget what these things are called, but Anyway, after all of the work I put into building all of this shit to try to uh, force this to come out of the bottom of the quill, I finally, like, I was trying, like, every combination of arms I could come up with. I got this guy over here. I made all this shit. <laughs> and you know what? I finally just gave up and wrapped on the top of it with a rubber mallet. I didn't even hit it hard. Like, I barely even tapped it with this, and it came right out. So... That was a huge waste of time. I spent like a bunch of time yesterday making, you know, because obviously it's got to be wide enough to get around the head here to be able to get force on that and stuff. And every combination of these different arms. Um, I also, I made, uh, I made this on the lathe yesterday to go down at the bottom of the spindle nose so I'd have something for the arms to grab a hold of. This was useless. <laughs> I'm getting ready to make uh, this into something to grab onto to be able to pull the new bearings onto the spindle. These are the old bearings. And so this is a, a spacer that's part of the machine that fits on here that will make it so that you only get pressure on the inner part of the race, which is really important. And so I'm going to, from this end, try to pull the new bearings on there. And so I'm going to use this and I'm going to make this into a spacer, which will come down over the top of it and hopefully find myself a combination of those arms that can grab a hold and pull the new bearings on there. Um, I'm really hoping that it actually is the bearings that are the issue. I found a couple of interesting things. So I'm going to definitely check the run out on the spindle itself. Hopefully that's not where the two thou is at. Um, we'll see soon enough. So there's a nut and a uh, like a uh, castle ring that uh, has a tab that bends up that keeps that from loosening up that goes on here. And one thing that's interesting that I found was that that stuff wasn't even tight, which, you know, because in the guide, he talks about trying to get this off of there and it taking quite a bit of force to do it. And literally, I, I undid, there was one tab holding this in place from being able to come loose. But as soon as it came loose, like, I was able to take it right off of there without, like, so there was, like, no preload in the bearings, right? Which was interesting. So it's almost like somebody has already done this and just didn't do a very good job. Here's the upper spindle bearing, which comes out from the top. And so to get it out, I just kind of half measured, like, grabbed. I didn't want to put anything metal inside of the bore. And so I just kind of took this and stuck it up in there and just tap, tap, tap. And it popped free and came right out. So it's kind of oily. Um, yeah, I guess that's grease, but it's really, it's really thin. So here's the replacement bearing for that. Now, one other problem, of course, there's always something. Either I ordered the wrong bearings for the pulley mechanism or they sent me the wrong ones. But... Uh, See if I can get this open one-handed. I'll show you the discrepancy here. So there's the upper one. There's one that sits below it too. And so you can see that, look at the difference in the bore size here. Like that's not gonna work. So I don't know. I, I think they probably sent me the wrong one. So hopefully I can send those back and get the right one. It's no big deal. Actually, I can feel the lower one in here. It's notchy. The upper one feels nice and smooth, but the nice thing about this is that even though I don't actually have the right bearings, I'm going to go ahead and, and get everything done and put back together. For me to redo this, even if it's like a week out from now, getting that off of there is really easy. It's like a 10 minute operation to get to that point. So redoing those bearings later on is really not that big of a deal. So, um, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Lose your mind. I don't know why that's there, but generally speaking, I don't do that. So anyway, I'm going to hop in and uh, make this spacer really quick on the lathe. 
and then I'm going to work on uh, getting these bearings off of here and the new ones put on. So I will uh, come back to you guys. Everything's going pretty well so far. We'll see uh, how this turns out. Hopefully I can get rid of that tooth out of uh, run out. Eric with the uh, secondary machine. Talk to you soon.